How's it going, everyone? Oh, hang on, what's that message? Oh, it's okay, someone else just following me on Twitter. Ah, oh, you get those. Um, I haven't posted anything on Twitter for a while myself, but uh, I keep getting people following me for some strange reason. Um, my name must pop up. <laughs> oh, I'll wait till some people come on. I'll say hello, and we'll get started. Yeah, hello, there we go, people are coming on. It's always good to see. I love having an audience. Hello. Obviously you can all hear me. Yep. I'll take that as a yes. Alright. Uh, nothing new to report, obviously, on the migration. It's it's not done yet. Uh, hopefully soon. Um, as I said, the next few days. So uh, I won't just rehash what I said yesterday uh, about that. Um, you'll know when it's happened. I'll tell you. All I need is a word from uh, the programmer. And if he's going to tell me 24 hours, I don't know if I'll tell you or not, but at least I'll be prepared um, because I know with some, pro uh, you know, I've, I've worked with programmers before and they can say 24 hours and it's like three days later. So I don't want to get anyone's hopes up sort of thing. So, uh, once I know he's ready, that's, that's what I'll act. Um, so yeah, so we're working away. So that's good. Um, I'm pretty excited about what's going to be happening. Um, like I said last night with the advertising that we'll be doing, uh, with the proof of payments and everything working perfectly and, and, and things like that. So um that's that's really good um yeah i'm just it's it, i feel like i'm launching for the first time again so um I'm, I'm very excited like i was right at the very beginning but then again i don't think i've had a day where i haven't been excited about what's been going on and and what what's going to be happening um a lot of you have been with me from the beginning so you've seen many of my lives and uh <laughs> You know, apart from a couple sort of thing, I think I've been, you know, practically jumping on the couch, uh, you know, Tom Cruise style. And uh, been, been very excited about what's been going on. And where I think I think half my excitement comes from knowing where we're going to be in the future. Not just thinking, but knowing where we're going to be in the future. And that, that really excites me. And I know it excites a lot of you. I get a lot of messages every day um, with people very... Um, uh, excited, uh, uh, you know, about where we're going. Um, I was talking to uh, a young young man from Wales, uh, Kristen, today. Um, he's advertising in like a whole heap of places um, outside of Facebook. Um, you know, where people do the clicks and things like that. He's in a, um, a some sort of program or something where he can advertise, and he's he showed me the the screenshot and it just all the Bitcoin Ascension stuff, and he's used a lot of the taglines and everything like that that we use to get people's attention. So he's working very, very hard. He's only he's only really known about um, Bitcoin and crypto since last year. Um, but uh, had a, quite a few conversations with him. He lives on the uh, west coast of Wales, so um, not exactly where I'll be, but uh, not far away, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, and he was telling me about other programs he's been in and how he's lost his faith and a lot of stuff because um, there's so many scams out there and, and things like that it happens all the time. Um, but he's very excited about being part of Bitcoin Ascension and where it's going to be going. So, um, you know, and, and he's he's in the same boat like many of us sort of thing. Not really liquid with the assets, you know, it's hard to find work. Uh, all over the world it's hard to find work. Um, my daughter's probably... Um, put in for a hundred different jobs, I mean literally 100 different jobs, and had 100 rejections. And this is stuff she's qualified for, you know. Just just shows you how tough, and she's only 24 years old, so it shows you how tough it is for anyone to get a job sometimes, you know. Sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know, um, and that's what gets you a job. But of course, my daughter's a lot like me, um, and uh, she won't she won't give up on that, on, on, on anything, and uh, she'll fight for it. Uh, she was in a car accident uh, six years ago, um, and that's what put her out of work for a long time because the insurance company didn't want to pay and didn't want to get it back healed, and I didn't have the money to heal it back, um, which is why I was so desperately doing online programs. Um, and I felt like a bit of a failure as a father that, that I couldn't get her back fixed. Um, of course, she, she wouldn't have any of that. She knew, you know, it wasn't because I didn't want to. You know, <laughs> you just can't sometimes. But um, the insurance company, um, the insurance company mucked around as insurance companies do, um, and didn't want you know say she was faking, she was faking, even though we had ultrasounds showing the compressed discs in the spine and and all that sort of thing. They still 
saying it's fake. They didn't want to pay. In the end, they paid. And to be honest, she got screwed over by them and, and the lawyers, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, uh, yeah, they, they don't tell you all the stuff in the fine print. Uh, but left her with enough. Um, and she's getting her back healed now, so she's trying to get back in the workforce. But even after six years, she kept her humour, even though she was in pain a lot. I've had to, we had to take her to hospital a few times um, because she had massive shooting pains down her legs and uh, they had to give her something for the pain because the painkillers weren't working anymore. You know, you can get so used to those things. But, um, uh, you know, but she, she fought all the way through and uh, she's coming out the other side and she's still got a sense of humour. Um, she's a lot like me uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, well, I'm a lot like her, like I'd like to say as well. Um, she inspires me daily. Uh, she lives with me here at the apartment. That's 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 my daughter, the one you see every now and then. Uh, sometimes funny faces and things like that. So she she's got a great sense of humour. But even through all the pain and all the rejection and 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 the people calling her a faker and a liar sort of thing, she she still kept her smile and she still fought on and she will continue to fight on um, because that's that's the way she is. She's not going to let anything beat her. And uh, uh, and and that's how you have to be. Uh, with 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 everything in life, you know, whether it's online, doing online programs and or an offline business, or your nine to five, or or just raising a family, you know, or just being a young person trying to make it in the world, it's not easy. Okay, it's not easy. We've got a lot of people. We've got all this automation from computers and machines and things like that. So they need less people. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, it does make it tough. Um, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of Americans who, who would say, you know, uh, they, they put the kids through college only to find when the, by the time they get out of college, there's no jobs for them for what they went to college for in the first place. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm seeing colleges are a bit of a scam in the end. Um, you pay all that money and it doesn't guarantee them a job, even if they got the right attitude, you know. Um, so a lot of people turn to online programs and things like that. And that's why they get scammed a lot, because they think it's all easy money. Um, and uh, basically you can sign up and you won't have to do anything and you'll you'll make a million dollars and we all know that's not true um, I talked pretty strenuously uh, about it last night and um, people uh, were under the impression I was annoyed um, I wasn't annoyed um, just just to clarify that I wasn't annoyed with anyone in particular um, I was just sh trying to show you an example of um, People who say, you know, they've been away for a few months, because this has happened to me over the years, not, not just for Bitcoin Ascension. Um, been away for a few months, uh, why haven't I made a million dollars type thing? Uh, so what I was trying to do was just give you the truth of it last night, of how things actually are. Not how we want them to be, but how things actually are, and what you have to do to succeed. Okay? Um, that's all it was. It was, I'm not annoyed at anyone in particular. I'm not even exasperated uh, about how some people will sit there and watch and, um, and, and, and won't do anything to help when they can, but they won't because they just, that, that's the chip on their shoulder, okay? Um, and they just won't, right? I'm not even annoyed at those because I've seen this for like 15 years and I've, see, I've seen it in my nine to five job. You always had that one person in the cubicle who, 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 was, who was just checking their emails and playing, playing mini golf on the computer while you were doing all the work. There was always that one or two guys in, in, in the warehouse where they'd be up the back corner talking while you were doing all the work. Okay? I've seen it all. So I'm not annoyed. I'm not exasperated. I know it's human nature. Um, it, we're, we're raised to be lazy in a sense. Um, you know, the government tries to nanny, nanny, nanny you the whole way through life. You know, we give, we give you this and we give you that. And, uh, and it keeps you quiet, keeps you mollified. We'll keep you distracted with sport and things like that. And that's, that's, that's how governments run all over the world. Um, you know, and, and you're told no, and this is what you can do, and what, you know, and um, you're told you can't do many, many other things and, and, and things like that. So it's the way, way we're raised. So I don't expect overnight success when I, when I start talking about uh, wanting, um, you know, people to change their mindset to actually succeed. Um, I know it's not going to happen overnight. Um, so I wasn't annoyed, I was just stating facts for people to get the real truth, because I think over our lives we've been lied to too many times, you know, 
and and you're never not a real friend or you're not a real mentor or a leader if you just tell someone it's going to be okay you sit there and do nothing and um it'll still be all right i'm sorry but it won't um not for you uh on a personal nature you cannot wrap people in uh, cotton wool and uh and hope for the best because all you're doing is actually disempowering people i want to give you back your power okay that's why i don't hide any knowledge from you because they say knowledge is power no sharing the knowledge that's the real power okay so uh anyone anyone saying they'll do it all for you and things like that is actually taking the power away from you to be an individual and to succeed for yourself okay it may seem like it's the easy way out oh this person is going to do everything for me or everything's going to be done for me i can sit back and do nothing um it's it's a myth i'm sorry and a person could have the best intention wanting to do that but as i said they're they're, they're taking the power away from you to have your choice and and to take responsibility for your things and you know it keeps you it keeps you quiet keeps you mollified and you don't rock the boat of the status quo so that's that's the truth of it all as i said so i wasn't annoyed i just wanted people to know the truth and of how things actually are not how we want them to be um but they can be how we want them to be if we shift our mindset to wanting to succeed and working together uh especially with bitcoin ascension it's a great example um you know you can do it in your community but with bitcoin ascension we're grabbing people from all over the world and we're just going to be working together now what do we want how do we want it to be we want it to be where we're not working too hard but we're earning good money well that's exactly what bitcoin ascension is we've made it so you don't have to work hard if we all work together it's even less time right so you don't have to work hard and you can make a lot of money you know and will because I'm not going anywhere. I'll keep Bitcoin Ascension running. So that's the way it is, and it's the way you want it to be. You want to be able to get the maximum amount of profit with the least amount of work. Hello, here we are. As I said, with, with something like um, the co-op and things like that, you've got a bunch of people who always put in for it, and that's fantastic, but we've got like three or 4,000 people here all of them put in two dollars what have we got eight thousand dollars bang you know we can get so much done if you just face facts and face reality for what it is so um and i think here at bitcoin ascension with with the people we have here we do offer that we do we, we don't offer to do it for you we make things easier you know out of the day um you know ads are written for you you have to post them you know but we, we do that, and uh, but I would suggest anyone who, I'm terrible at writing ads. The ads we provide, um, Juliet and Elaine and everyone, Mandy, there's quite a few people, I don't want to go through them all, um, you know, write and create the pictures for these ads. And, and Clive, of course, um, giving them giving a strategy for our advertising and everything like that. They don't want to do it for you, they're just helping, okay? They're just helping. It's like giving someone a car, but if you don't know how to drive you're going to crash the car aren't you so it's up to you to learn how to drive so we're going to provide the vehicles you've just got to learn how to do it but we also provide instruction for anyone who wants it so that's how we make things easier so you have to do as little work as possible and i think that's the way to go you know and as i said you can keep making your excuses um about why you're not doing it and uh, i was talking to someone saw someone today they work 12 hours a day still catch the wives you know, even if it's a day late, they still keep up to date with what's going on. Um, shift workers as well. Um, Angela Cunningham, she's a nurse, works all different hours, nights, days, still catches the wives. You know, she's got, she's a single parent, a couple of kids, all that sort of thing, struggling on. Um, and uh, she still catches the wives. She still gets involved, you know. Um, so, like I said, it's up to you if you want to succeed. Even if you're, I worked 23 hours a day, right, away from the computer, I would still, because I want to succeed, I would still take the time to listen to something. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to work 23 hours a day. I'll never get any sleep. But I used to work a long time ago when I was about 17, 18 years old. I worked 18 hours a day at a warehouse, um, a uh, food processing plant, um, 18 hours a day, good money and uh, cash in hand, you know. Um,
but I didn't have time to go home. So I, I grabbed a foam mattress and I slept on the warehouse floor, uh, on, on, the, on the factory floor. Um, and uh, so then they paid me like for security guard reasons. So they gave me a crowbar and they said, you, you can defend the place if anyone breaks in. So no one ever broke in, of course. But I did that for six months straight. I didn't see my home. I was <laughs> just, just on the weekends, but I was working six days a week, 18 hours a day. And the rest, I, then I'd drop on the, on the thing, sleep, wake up, go to work again, you know. I didn't have to do much. I'd wash in the bathroom and all that sort of thing. Um, on the weekends, I'd, I, could, I could clean properly and, and all that. And it, it wasn't the, what the great, greatest part of life was. Um, it was very hard. Uh, but working as hard as I did doing that, I had enough money from the deposit of my first house. Okay, that's how I did it. So if you really want to get somewhere and you really want to do something, you've got to put in the work. Now, I'd rather put 18 hours a day in online talking with people and developing Bitcoin Ascension into something massive, right, than um, making pastries 18 hours a day and sleeping on a, on a warehouse floor, you know, on an old foam mattress, no blanket, no pillow, um, you know, and a crowbar next to me in case, in case anyone tried to break in, you know. Much rather be doing this for 18 hours. But as I said, if you want to get to where you want to get to, you gotta put it. You gotta put in the effort. No one's gonna do it. You know they can say they're gonna do it for you, but they won't do it for you. And to be honest, I wouldn't want anyone doing it for me. I'd, I'd rather keep the power I have to make my own decisions and my own choices, and have the freedom to to, to exercise them uh, in in a way I see fit. So. I'm not expecting everyone's mindset to change just from my live videos, just because I say so. But I think the truth has been hidden from us for too long. So, and people will say, well, that's the truth as you see it. No, it's just the truth. It's not as I see it. It's fact. You can't tell me it's not. You know, it's just the way things are. I'm sure everyone here agrees with, with, with how the world is and, and, and the way things are and um, they've worked in programs before and, and, and with this one and they see people who would just sit there and literally, literally not do any work. They can, they just won't, right? Because they expect everyone else to do it. Now, we don't hate these people, okay? It's not about being annoyed at them. It's not about hating them. It's not about even calling them lazy, okay? We want to help change their mindset so they understand why we do the things we do. We need them to understand, okay? So it's understanding and education that changes the world. And that starts here at Bitcoin Ascension, teaching these people that, you know, you can't sit back. You're not going to get the results you want as quick as you want if you sit back and do nothing, okay? And, and don't feel embarrassed if you've been here with us for six months and never done a lick of work and then come and say, I'd like to learn how to advertise. No one's going to judge you here and say, where the hell have you been for the last six months? They're going to say, okay, here's an ad of the day. I'll show you where to put it. I'll show you how to do it. You'll have Juliet probably video calling you. And saying, okay, how can I help you to help yourself? Right? That's what I mean. We don't have to get annoyed with people. We don't have to hate people who, who are sitting there doing nothing. We want to hope that they see if they really want power and freedom and choice in their life. And they have to take responsibility for themselves. This is the place to do it. This is a place where you won't be judged, mocked, or hated, okay? Bitcoin Ascension is a place where all you're going to get is love, education, and help all the way through. We are not going to do it for you, but we're going to help you to succeed, right? We will help you every step of the way. We'll hold your hand, we'll walk with you so you don't fall, but in the end, you have to do it. And that's what I hope to do with these lies, and that's why I talk like I do because I want people to slowly but surely understand that this is what it is in life if you really want to succeed and get the dreams you want to get. This is what you have to do. Um, and no one here is going to judge you for when you finally do come to the realisation, because you're not at the realisation yet, many of you, uh, but you will be one day. Um, and guess what? We'll be here to help you succeed. Okay, we're going to succeed anyway. You know, I've, we've got enough people in this group. We, we're going to succeed. It's as simple as that. Okay, we've got some very talented people here. And, and that's why I say I love you very much at the end of my videos.
because I do. You wouldn't, I, I don't know if you can comprehend the appreciation I have to find beautiful people who have the same sort of mindset I do from all different parts of the world um, who, who, want, who, want, who want to succeed. But with the people who have joined us and, and don't want to do any work because they don't feel they have to or they shouldn't or they've got an excuse um, or in their, in their minds it's a reason, not an excuse for why they don't do it. You have to change your mindset if you want to succeed and if you do want to change your mindset and do want to succeed, here is the place to do it because we're not going to say where the hell have you been. We're not going to ridicule you. We're not going to mock you. If you don't know how to use a computer properly, and there's many people out there who don't, guess what? We're not going to we're not going to cat call you. We are just going to help you, and that's all we want to do: help you, help you to help yourself, right? Not do it for you, not wrap you up in cotton wool and lie to you, right? Here we just want truth. We want understanding. We want love, we want giving, and that's how we're going to heal the world. By healing every member here, we start to heal the world without having to pay us a penny. You can heal the world for free in many cases. I mean, obviously there's places where it's going to require money and resources and materials to do that sort of thing. But I think we have to uh, try and heal our, heal our hearts and our minds um, and the hearts and minds of our fellow members here. And that's why I don't come down hard on people I give you choice. If your choice is not to be with us anymore, or to call me a scammer, that's your choice. I'm not going to hate you for it. I'm, I'm going to probably feel bad that you don't understand um, what we're trying to do here. But and and I'll, and I'll try and convince you otherwise. But I'll, I'll never hate you, even if you hate me, because that's there's there's it's there's no productive thing in in hating someone. It's actually very hard to hate someone. It takes a lot of effort to hate someone. But to love and like people, it doesn't take any effort at all. It's just a smile and saying good day. Okay? Um, and, and it's very, very simple. To hate someone, you've got to think of ways of why you hate them and to make yourself hate them and, 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 and do things that would hurt them because um, that's part of hate. That takes a lot of work. Really, really does. It's just so easy to love and like and and help and smile it's very very simple okay um now you know and i've said all this and none of it's religious based guys or anything like that you know it's not like um you know in in god we trust or anything like that not that i'm having a go at god i'm just saying it doesn't matter what color you are what race you're from what religion you are we care here we want to help each other and it's got nothing to do with anything that's political, cultural, religious, anything like that. We're all here for the same reason. And we just want to help each other. And we want to spread the love, spread the joy, and spread the hope around the world. So people and the generations that follow us know that people care. Right? And there is a future. And the world isn't a dark place. And there is light. Okay? Um, it sounds preachy, I know. But it's just a simple truth. And um, so all I can say is I invite all members who haven't really stepped up um, to help themselves and, and say, here we are. We're here to help you. And anyone who's outside of Bitcoin Ascension and haven't heard of us yet or haven't joined uh, or are in the group and haven't joined, listen to this video. Um, share this video around, guys. Um, because I think it's time people knew online that there is a place like Bitcoin Ascension where we're going to do nothing but help and, and work with you. You know, um, we help develop you as marketers. We help you de develop you in your life, how to succeed in everything aspect of life. And, and we're here for financial uh, gain as well, as well as healing the world. So I don't mind if this video is shared all over the place and... Uh, People may think I'm a bit of a scam artist or a con who don't know me, and that's fine too. People are allowed to think that. But uh, as I said, trust takes time to build. It really, really does. And I think I've done that over the last six months uh, where people trust me, um, and I hope I have. Um, and I trust many, many of you, and it's very hard to trust in this day and age because everyone seems to be out for themselves. Um, I don't want to be out for myself. I want to be out for everyone. You <laughs> know? Um, it's, it's very lonely when you're just by yourself. 
um, I don't want to be alone. And with you guys, I'm not. I'm, I don't. I never feel alone because of you guys. So there's always a friendly smile. There's always someone asking you how you are. So it's fantastic. All right. I won't keep on with that uh, now. I think I've said my piece, and I hope people have understood it. Um, really want to get the co-op going. Um, so tag tag some people maybe who haven't seen these videos uh, in here, so we can help it spread these video this video in particular around. I'm hoping that what I've said here today really really helps people uh, just to understand what they have to do to succeed, uh, if nothing else. I, I, th I think um, I think people need to hear the truth. Um, instead of the con, cons from the advertising saying you don't have to do anything. Um, you really do if you want to succeed. So um, I'll leave it at that and uh, I'll be on again tomorrow. I will be, uh, but I won't be the next day. Um, I won't be available, but uh, Tom will be doing a live for me. Um, and you'll be hearing from him and he's a funny fella too. So uh, I'll say I love you all and you know I do. Um, and I'll be back again tomorrow and please look after yourselves and um, spread the love, spread the joy and help anyone who asks for help because they're coming into the light and that's, that's a, a beautiful thing. Alright, I'll talk to you later guys. Bye bye.